Alright, so hello everybody, my name is Linkus7. Now this is going to be my Summer Games Done Quick submission video to um uh for the Windmaker Randomizer race. This race is going to be in between me and Gymnast86. Now I'm gonna be explaining all of the settings and how this randomizer works as we get started. Gymnast is ready, so I'm gonna ready up my timer. This is a live race for the submission video. And I'm gonna be doing full explanation of everything I'm doing. Um so let's get started. So I'm gonna dot ready up. So, first off, currently I'm live streaming right now. However, I do not have chat up, I do not have alerts up or anything like that. The purpose of that is because if I did have that up, then I could possibly be get spoiled on something. So, uh, how the Wind Waker randomizer uh, race mode works is that you start off and you have the exact same seed. So right now I'm going to open up and I can see that uh, I have three dungeons that's currently being marked. Now, the purpose of the Wind Waker randomizer is to beat the game as fast as possible. So, all the items around the game is randomized, and to limit the game to not be 10 hours long or something like that, because then, let's say that, like, treasure shards, right? Like, salvaging those would be very long. Uh, the current race mode um, is set up in a manner to where we average get uh, races to be around one and a half to two hours long. So, the time estimate for this run is going to be two and a half hours. So, out of 300 in theory possible locations, you can see over me that it says that there's only 120 locations available to have randomized items. Now, all of the items are actually randomized in the game. However, there are two pool of items in the logic of the randomizer. There is progression-based item and non-progression-based items. For example, a heart piece would be a non-progression-based item because it doesn't help you to actually progress and beat the game. Um, for example, right there, that's a progression-based item, so that's very good. So, for example, right now, to give the idea for a viewer of what locations I have left, I, you will see that I have marked off over me one item I got, and then another item I got. And I'm gonna mark off so you can see that I do have these two items right now. That's a very, very good start, by the way. So, um, how the race mode works is that you basically have all of the dungeons that can have all of the dungeons are in the pool as well as short side quests and other overworld locations. So for example, watering uh, forest water on all of the Deka trees around the game which would take like 15-20 minutes to do just that alone uh, is not in the pool of a possible item because that would be a very long one to do. That's why um, you can actually get the time of these randomizers a bit down. Now, if you saw when I opened up the map originally, you saw that I was able to spot a couple of different locations that were already accessible to me. Uh, there was basically four dungeons. There was the Forbidden Woods, uh, it was Tower of the Gods, Dragon Roost, and Earth Temple. Uh, sorry, or, and Wind Temple. Now, why that is important is because of how the randomizers is set up. To actually get down to Hyrule to have access to the barrier, you need a full Triforce, as well as a fully charged Master Sword, um, those are the restrictions to actually get down to Hyrule, which is the original uh, source for breaking the barrier in the vanilla game. And then obviously I will need other items to beat the end of the game. For example, I would need uh, light arrows to actually deal damage to Fan uh, Phantom and Puppet Cannon. Um, I would need uh, the grappling hook and the hook shot to climb the last tower, etc. Um, now I already have two very good items, the Hookshot and the Deku Leaf, which is very good items to start with. That already gives me a lot of an easier access towards some of the endgame locations. Um, and what you're going to be seeing uh, if you do compare my camera, my point of view compared to Gymnast is that what a lot of it comes down to when it comes to randomizers in this game is, and what makes the difference between a good runner and a, a person starting out is obviously a few of it, a part of it is of course knowing small speedrun strats or glitches because glitches are allowed. Um, however, what another big part is, is routing. So routing is going to be very essential for this. And the, the reasoning for that is since there is logic involved, and to give you a very simple explanation of what logic is in this game, let's say the DQ Leaf has obtained, right? Let's say that the Deku Leaf was placed in Forbidden Woods. That means that I couldn't get it. Like, without great, like crazy glitches, I could not get to Forbidden Woods without the Deku Leaf. So there's logic in place. Oh, that's really, that's a really good start. That's a very, very good start. So, there's logic in place telling the game that, okay, you cannot put the Deku Leaf in these locations because it wouldn't be accessible for a person. 
So the idea of the randomizer is basically that it can only put progression-based items um, in locations uh, that are accessible without any form of glitches. Now glitches, like I said, are allowed to speed up the process. However, um, the intention is basically for anyone to be able to perform a uh, randomizer run. So the, the actual logic of the game is basically no glitches. Um, so currently we do have a couple of items. Now, um, where the routing comes into play is right now I have, for example, like let's say what, I, what I'm thinking right now. So right now what I'm thinking is that I have the hook shot and I have the DQ leaf, I have bombs and I have a delivery bag. So what that tells me is that I can actually go and already do um, Forbidden Woods. So I can already go and do Forbidden Woods if I would like to. However, uh, what I do however uh, know by that is that um, uh, even though it is possible for me as a speedrunner to go through all of Forbidden Woods without the grappling hook, a person that does not use speedrun strategies are not supposed to get the Forbidden Woods without a grappling hook. So what that means is that even though I can get good items in Forbidden Woods, um, I do know for a fact that it cannot have an item I currently need. And what I do mean by that is that... Um, that's very unfortunate. What I do mean by that is, for example... Um, let's say currently right now, let's say that I, I I was out of every location but two places. Like, let's say I was the only out of Dragon Roost and Forbidden Woods. And the only way to get past further into the game was if I found, let's say, the bow and arrows, right? If I was in a situation like that, I would know that the bow and arrows would not be in, uh, or the, uh, sorry, the grappling hook. The grappling hook is what I need. I would know for a fact the grappling hook could not be placed in Forbidden Woods because you cannot access that without the like without the grappling hook without the use of tricks or glitches. So I can kind of then based upon that, depending on what items I need, route in. So for example, the grappling hook right now. I know for a fact that the grappling hook cannot be placed in Forbidden Woods and it will probably be in one of the overall locations. Um, or it would be placed in um, just, you know, one of the other dungeons that can be accessed without it. So right there, I got a letter right there from the bomb. Ooh, and I got Forest Pearl. Really good. So those are the Salvage Corpse, which is another part of the... Which is another part of the Randomizer, because it's a very easy location to get. Um, so what I'm going to do straight away is I'm actually going to favor doing some overall locations, because I already got, I already got bombs. And I know that this location right here, for example, has a total of four items. Now, three of them are accessible. Uh, basically, one of them is accessible normally. Um, two more locations are accessible if you either have bombs or power bracelets. And the last fourth one requires the grappling hook. So what, my, what I would hope to get is a grappling hook in this location, because that means I never have to go back here. Now, um, another big part about this routing is going to be that I'm going to try and route so that um, I'm going for the most efficient one as well as what I think the logic is trying to tell me. So, for example, right here, these three chests are very, very quick to get. Ah, uh, that's the mirror shield. Uh, these are very quick to get, so I know that, like, chests based upon time is very much worth it to go here. Even if I need to do this in two trips, which it looks like I need to do. Because checking those three locations right there is so quick that it's actually worth it. Even if I have a small chance, which I did end up hitting right now, of having to do this in a two-trip method. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that... Um, another thing to keep in mind as well is that... The four locations that's currently being marked onto the map right here, uh, as you can see... Um, the bosses in those dungeons are guaranteed to have a Triforce piece as their heart container. So what that basically means is that... Uh, what I do know already for a fact is that... Is that I already know where the four Triforce pieces is. Which means in theoretical terms, uh, if the only thing I was missing to go was going down in Hyrule, I would only be looking at the Master Sword. So I'm going to try and favor checking quick locations in the overworld to hopefully find, for example, the three different arrows I need to get bow and arrow, fire and ice element, and then light arrows. 
because if that's the case and I have a fully charged Master Sword, that means that I don't have to check all the chests in every dungeon, but I can I can actually instead rush through them using glitches to try and just beat the bosses, because those will always have the Triforce locations uh, at them. Now, you did see I did a little bit of a trick right there with the wind to get up here without the grappling hook. And that is because um, a, lot, a big part about this too is trying to obviously think what the other runner is going to do. So I am guessing that Gymnast would actually not go to Forbidden Woods uh, straight away if he found it equally. I am uh, guessing that he would do Overworld or Dragon Roost. So I'm trying to hopefully get a lead here by finding an item I need that would save me time. Uh, by going here before he does and that's kind of another part about randomizers like for example right there I just got the master which is a very good item to have So that's another part about randomizers is trying to kind of think in your opponent in your opponent's uh, footsteps or what possibly they could be thinking uh, with the route that they are currently choosing and because of that, right now, for example, I got a Master Sword, which if this seed had Forsaken Fortress, I would already have a lead right now. Sadly, that's not an item I specifically need. Uh, what I would like from this dungeon right now is, for example, like Command Melody, because that would allow me to do Wind Temple really quickly. And it would be a location where if he does this later, he would be a lot uh, more locked out of actually doing Wind Temple. Um, you're also gonna notice that I have, for, instead of having alerts up, I have missed subs and missed bits, like what the amount of bits and subs I got during this run. And the reasoning for not having alerts for these kind of a runs, uh, and basically keeping the runners in the dark, is just to avoid spoilers. Um, simple as that. Because obviously, if you had a chance to actually find, find out what, uh, you know, uh, you know, like where locations are, like, oh, Jimmy just got the bombs in this location, then obviously that would ruin... Um, a lot of the, I guess, skill involved in um, routing, etc. And it'll also take away a lot of the competitive aspect of things. So because of that, we do try and keep it so that the runners are in the dark. So they do not actually know exactly uh, what they're up to. Um, you will notice that uh, a big reasoning why I am okay with going here early is because I have the bombs and the hookshot. And the hookshot and bombs allow me to kill the eyes on the doors really quickly. Which means that even though I don't have bow and arrow, which would be the fastest way of killing the eyes, I can very quickly still destroy the eyes and completely break a lot of this dungeon already. And right there we just got Hero's Bow. So right there, for example, um, I already hopefully have a lead on Jim if he did not go here or if he didn't find a Hero's Bow in the overworld. So that's a very, very good item to already start off with. And also now I can one-shot these eyes, so it's even quicker. So this is already actually paying off uh, in a runner perspective. So the only thing I cannot do uh, without the grappling hook in this dungeon right here is um, going across this little gap here on the right side. However, what I can do instead is I can actually do a really cool strat right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot um, this big flower partially down and leap to it. And then when it basically regrows, it's going to go higher up again. But that allowed me to completely skip having to use the grappling hook to go against that gap. You can do a very, very, very precise um, leaf to get across there. However, that's a lot more complicated. So that's a very easy method to get around the grappling hook aspect of this dungeon. So right now I'm just kind of going to try and go around Forbidden Woods. Because in general, dungeons are favored to have items you need. Uh, over overworld locations just because dungeons in general have a very high time to chest ratio which is a very very convenient thing for a runner uh, also the boss keys small keys and map and compasses are always set to the dungeons themselves so let's say I get in a situation where I am missing let's say the, the dungeon map and I know I only have one chest left then I will ignore that on purpose because I will know that the location of that is always in the dungeon. So that means that the last chest is guaranteed to be an item I am actually not required to get.
Now right here I'm gonna try and head over to the mini boss straight away and um, I kind of just want to get this part out of the way. The one thing that is very unfortunate is because I do not have the grappling hook and the grappling hook cannot be placed in this dungeon, there is one specific chest at the top of this room that I cannot get no matter what I do. I cannot get to it without the grappling hook. So there's currently one location I already know for a fact that I sadly actually have to skip out on, which is a bit unfortunate. However, um, um, I'm basically going to take kind of a risk to hope, hope that that item is not very important. If it is, I will have to come back and get it later, but I'm going to hope that that's not a very important item. Uh, another good part about having the Master Sword early is that Master Sword does double damage compared to the Hero Sword. So finding a Master Sword early on will save me a lot of time throughout the, the game because all of my damage is going to be doubled uh, for fighting enemies. Uh, right here, I am supposed to need the, uh, the boomerang to get out. However, if you're quick, quick, quick enough, you can shoot those two switches with uh, the hookshot or the bow and arrow. And I can simply get out. Right here, I'm actually going to use a bomb because I don't know how, much, how easily it would be for me to get uh, bow and arrow drops. So I'd rather go a little bit safe there. And then right here, since I do not have the um, boomerang, I'm going to do kind of a quick strat here. I'm going to break these two, and then I'm going to hookshot the chest here to get across way faster. And that is the compass. That's a bit unfortunate, okay? I'm hoping to not find the compass in the map throughout this dungeon. And the reasoning for that is very simple. That's basically because then I will know that I can skip a couple of chests later on. Um, right now, I am actually in kind of a situation to where I cannot go to the basement yet because I do not have the boomerang. So I'm going to try and do a bomb flip right here by placing a bomb, backflipping, leafing in between it, going towards the bomb, and then uh, that, will put, take me, that will take me out of bounds. Ah, a little bit too early there. Should be fine. Uh, no magic, that's not too good. Uh, okay. This is uh, this is going to be a very difficult ledge clip right here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, so I'm going to go to the basement then instead first. Oh wow. Now what I'm going to do instead right here is I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm actually going to get a, uh, I'm actually going to just open this chest normally right here because I do have the boss key. However, what you can do right here at this location, if let's say this was a item, like let's say this, like I did not have the boss key, then I could actually choose on purpose to do a glitch called a chest storage to, to skip the boss key because the boss keys are not uh, needed for, um, it may say so like part of the rando that like an item that is required for the randomizer itself uh, i'm gonna use this warp pod quickly here to go through uh this dungeon a little bit quicker here so i can get back to the main room and i'm gonna train this ledge clip one more time uh if i am not able to pull it off well then i'm going to have to probably come back because honestly uh trying this trick too many times would be slower than just hopefully getting the boomerang see if i can get this here and I'm gonna turn around, walk off, and I land in this water, go back, fall, take out the Deku Leaf. Really, really good. Alright. I ran in the basement. Now getting in the basement early is no problem because I can either A save and quit to get out, or B, oh that's unlucky. Or B, I could simply just decide to um go through the uh the, the wall like i guess the floor that's being blocked right now because they are only solid one way which means that i already know for a fact that it won't be an issue to get out of here all right submarine chart okay all right so currently i am missing the map so what i'm hoping right now is that this chest in this room right here will actually not have the map 
And the reasoning I really hope this does not have the map is because then I could actually skip the boss key location. So I'm hoping that this will not have the map. Uh, if it does have the map, I will have to deal with going all the way out of my way to actually check the location of um, uh, of the, the boss key chest in the vanilla game. So please don't have the map. Damn, alright. So I'm gonna have to check the last one. Alright, that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Okay. Alright. Now there's kind of a trick I can do right here to try and get around um, the first part of the section of this room. And uh, it's really difficult, but I'll, I'll try it once. So by taking out the leaf right here and then doing very well timed leaf pumps by basically canceling your leaf and then pressing the leaf button again. I can maintain my height better, and then if I cancel the leaf right before the ledge, beautiful, I can then grab onto the ledge, skipping having to deal with the flower altogether. And then what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna equip the hookshot, because there's a little bit of a clip I can do right here. So if I slowly walk up the ledge right here, and then I hookshot under the little bar right there, I can get into the chest room early, and unfortunately the treasure shark, so... Sadly, unfortunately, that is not a very good item to, to get. Uh, I'm also now going to start marking off that I've gotten... I'm gonna clear all of it. And in theoretical terms, there was one single location in this dungeon I haven't been able to check. But um, if worse comes to worst, I'll have to check it. Hopefully it does not have a good item though. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk there. Now, what you might have noticed is that I actually do not have, um, I do not have the boomerang, which could show a complication because I cannot obviously kill the, I cannot obviously cut down Keladimos if I do not have the boomerang. However, I do have bombs. So I'm going to use kind of a difficult method, but basically in this version of the game, you can actually damage Keladimos while he's in midair. So by doing very well-timed bomb throws right here, I can actually try and throw them at a perfect time to where I can... Good. I can actually hit him. You can also get bombs stuck on the side right there because the collision isn't very, really well made. Ah, the dead head. I think that hit. I think it should be one more bomb or two. I didn't really hear that sound. Okay, I missed one. Okay. Good. So we're gonna kill him while he's in midair, and then he should be dropping a Triforce piece, uh, guaranteed. And by getting the Triforce piece, I'm then going to only have three locations of the Triforce shard left. Also, thank you guys for the subs and for the bits. <laughs> I can see you guys are memeing hard in the, uh, in the chat right now. Alright. And we're out of here. Okay, so currently I have a few overall locations I could check pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to favor going to Diamond Step because I have both Bombs, Leaf, and Hookshot, which is a very quick location to check. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to go to Dragon Roost because, um, I can do everything in Dragon Roost but kill the boss right now because I don't have the grappling hook. So I'm hoping, hopefully, that, um, the game will be nice to me and actually give me the grappling hook throughout the dungeon if I don't find it in Diamond Step. So I'm gonna check the mail right now. I'm gonna get something from Kamali's father. And a red ruby. It's unfortunate. Um, okay. Uh, wait, actually, because of my items, actually, I'm actually gonna change my mind right now, last second. I just realized I have bombs, so actually, while I'm at it right here, I'm actually going to head over to this location right here. Um, you can actually, because of the DQ leaf and I have the bombs, I can very easily check both of these chests. 
And they're kind of out of the way, and I hopefully don't have to warp to Forbidden Woods too many times. So I'm actually going to get this out of the way immediately. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check this chest over here. See if it's something good. Okay, an empty bottle. Okay, an empty bottle. The first empty bottle you get uh, is actually useful because you can actually get a fairy and save grandma. And by saving grandma, you, she will actually send you a letter which could have a possible good item. So that is actually, that actually has a chance of being a good item. So I'm not going to be upset about that. That's actually a pretty good item to get. Uh, if I get two bottles or more, then sadly those are useless for me in this current randomizer. But the first bottle is actually not bad. Ooh, and Nairus Pearl. Okay, so if I check my inventory right now, I, I should have actually a total of two pearls. Which is actually very, very good. Because that means that I'm only missing one pearl now from going to Tower of the Gods. Which is one of the dungeons that I will have to actually complete. So that is actually a very uh, good item to receive. There you go, outset. <laughs> thank you for the sub, and thank you guys for the bits, I appreciate that. 9,669 bits, thank you so much. <laughs> Almost 10k. Dude. <laughs> I'm only 25 minutes in chat, slow down. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Alright, so you will also notice that I have a swift sail, and if you do remember this game, you will know that you're normally not supposed to have the swift sail. Um, and that is because the randomizer actually has a few, yes, uh, nice life improvements uh, throughout this version. Uh, because it's very difficult to uh, emulate or use homebrew for the uh, HD version of this game. So the randomizer is completely based upon the Genki version of the game. And then they have a couple of changes to uh, basically modify in uh, some of the improvements that they made in the HD version. For example, faster songs and warping, uh, your rolling speed is faster, uh, you, you have a swift sail in this version. Um, and your crawling speed and push speed is also higher. So overall, uh, you just kind of, and also there's no cutscenes. All of the cutscenes are automatically skipped. You can hold the B button to automatically progress text. So overall, um, there's a lot of really nice changes. Takes out a lot of downtime as well as, of course, um, also making it a bit nicer for the runner's health when it comes to your hand health, not having to mash through text every time. Uh, right here, I'm going to try and do kind of a little crazy strat right here. I'm going to try and take out a bomb, but take it out behind me, which is going to push me up on this little invisible ledge. And then I can actually hookshot this chest right here and um, get this chest really, really quickly. Oh, I don't have the leaf equipped. Good. I'm gonna leave to this chest and hopefully it's something good. Damn, alright. So both of them were unfortunately not too great, but that is that's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna save the warp out of here. Now I have a couple of options what I can do. Um I could check two more locations at Windfall Island. Um however I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Dragon Roost and use that on the fact that the grapple hook is located in Dragon Roost. If it's not, I will have to take a time loss there, and I will have to go out of my way in a couple of locations. But hopefully it is in Dragon Roost. Uh, if not, then it would be, uh, let's just say, quite unfortunate. I'm also, if I remember, going to try and pick up the, uh, the fairy in the end of this dungeon so that I can actually save Grandma to get her letter to see what item she has. Uh, another thing you're going to notice, by the way, if you might have wondered, is that my tunic is actually modified. And that is just because the randomizer allows you to completely do cosmetic changes. You can change the model of Link to anything. There's like Lucario, 
Um, there's like Sam from Undertale. There's a bunch of different um, uh, skins you can apply. Uh, currently, I'm using the standard Link one with a modified tunic so that I have a blue tunic um, with uh, gray sil sl or silver hair. Um, just kind of keeping it fairly vanilla while still having some cosmetic changes. Um, they don't want to go too, too crazy. Uh, there's a lot of small optimizations that you will see as runners do. For example, right there, I actually side hopped and jump slashed in midair to skip having to climb the ledge because the climbing animation of a ledge is slightly longer than uh, jumping, for, like what I did right there. So there's just a couple of changes like that that a runner like me prefer to do. I'm also going to equip the bombs right here. Uh, I really hope I can get a bomb drop, actually. I'm gonna check the skulls on the left right here, because my bomb count is actually not too great. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna explode this rock. Then we're gonna head over here. So you're gonna leaf across here, and then uh, use a bomb. Now, you're gonna see that there's a war pot there, and if you know this game very well, you will know that that war pot is not normally there. And there's also another war pot you might have noticed that I broke in Forbidden Woods. Now, what those war pots are, are those are added by the developers of the game, and the intention of those is basically, um, it's basically a fast warp in between dungeons. So, in between, uh, Dragon Roost, Forbidden Woods, and Tower of the Gods, I can use a fast warp in between the dungeons, uh, and then in between, uh, Forsaken Fortress, uh, in between Forsaken Fortress, Wind and Earth Temple, there's also those war pots I can take. So, for example, let's say I find the grappling hook and I'm in a dungeon. I could very quickly take one of those war pots to head back towards um, um, Forbidden Woods so that I could check that last location I missed earlier. Uh, right here, I can actually check one extra chest location uh, thanks to me having the leaf. There's one possible situation that could sadly uh, be very unfortunate if I happen to get that. There is one single chest that I cannot check in this dungeon at this moment, and that is the boss key. And the boss key, to get to it without actually beating the entire dungeon, uh, you need the uh, DQ leaf and you need the grappling hook. However, there is no glitches involved, it's just that you can leaf to the location, and then you just use the grappling hook to access it. Um, if there is a small key placed in that chest, then the logic is basically telling me that, hey, Link, Link is, um, you cannot defeat Dragon Roost if you do not have uh, the Grappling Hook and the DQB. So that means that the uh, Grappling Hook would either be placed in the Overworld or be in one of the other, or I guess in Tower of the Gods or Wind Temple, depending on if I find in the Overworld the items necessary to enter those two dungeons right there. So we'll see right now how, I guess, lucky we can be with this situation right here. So, really hoping that there is at least one small key here, uh, or two. If it's neither, then this is unfortunately going to be quite the slow reroute, so I'm really hoping for good luck right here. Alright, Dense Pearl. They could, this could mean that the game is intending, unless this has a small key and the next location has a small key, that could mean that the game is trying to tell me with its logic that I'm supposed to go to Tower of the Gods to get the grappling hook. Okay, there is still a chance it's not that case then. If the next location has a small key, then there's a 50% chance right now. So there's a 50% chance there's a small key up here. And if it's not, then the game is probably, I'm guessing, telling me with the logic that I'm supposed to go to Tower of the Gods. So I guess we'll see which situation it's throwing at me. Okay, so that means, I'm, I'm guessing this means that the logic is trying to tell me that I'm supposed to go to Tower of the Gods. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, before I do that, however, I am probably going to save Graham, actually, because number one, I can check a letter from that, and number two, um, I will also have soup, and there's a glitch you can do called soup glitch in this game. By drinking a soup and pausing at the same frame, I can unequip the soup and basically infinitely continue to drink my soup. 
And having a situation like that is very good because that means that I basically have infinite magic wherever I go. Ah, uh, and health. And it also gives you temporary double damage until uh, you take damage from any source. So I'm going to go quickly Mother and Child Island because there's always fairies around here. Save Grandma. Chad is probably very happy right now. Time to live. Time to live a happy and healthy life. Ooh. Thank you for the soup, Grandma. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for the 10,000 bits. I really appreciate it. 10,124 bits. Thank you so much. That's super generous of you guys. Thank you guys for 10,000. You guys are great. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Holy poggers. Alright, what letter is that? That should not be grandma, right? Oh, it is grandma? Oh, I must have been lucky with the time. Alright, rupee bag. Oh wait, a rupee bag. That means I can get another letter. I'm actually gonna make it pass another day. Uh, the rupee bag has one purpose in the randomizer, and that is purely that when you get the bigger rupee bag, uh, Beetle wants to send you a letter to advertise the fact that you can go to his very expensive shop. So I'm gonna check that as well while I'm here. Today is your big chance. And bait bag. Oh boy. Okay, bait bag is actually a very, very... Uh, how should I say, manka s item to get. That could mean that the game actually placed the grappling hook inside of Bird's Peak. The problem with it possibly being at Bird's Peak is that Bird's Peak is a very, very slow location to check. Um, unfortunately. Mm. I think I have something up my sleeve. I hope this lookout tower has a chest, because if it does have a chest, then I could actually probably save this from being very slow. Oh, it does. Beautiful. I would really like some bombs right now. Okay, good. Alright, so you might be wondering why I'm going to this lookout platform, because this look lookout platform is guaranteed not to have a good item. However, what I can do now is I can actually climb up on top of this chest, and then I can do a glitch called storage. And to simplify it, if you cancel the Wind Waker exactly 3 frames before you land uh, from a fall, then you can basically store uh, the element of opening a chest. And by doing so, your hitbox is actually being modified. So by having a modified um, um, collision on Link uh, to be the same one as opening a chest. 
How the Nintendo developers design opening a chest to always guarantee the player to be in the middle, they set Link's collision to be very, very tiny, to always be exactly in the middle so that it doesn't mess up. And by storing that, I will actually be playing with it. So you can see right now, if I go here, you can see that I go kind of inside of the wall, but I can't actually climb up ledges because that's not part of Link's properties right now. So I'm going to use a bomb boost to get up here. And then I'm simply, because I have such a small hitbox, I'm kind of just going to try and just sip right through the corner right there and enter Bird's Peak. And that should be a little bit faster than actually getting a bait and flying around with the sequel. Now, why this is a bad location normally is because the grappling hook, you can do a really easy, super quick strategy to clip inside a bird's beak. But I'm hoping the grappling hook will be here. That would be a huge win for me right now. Oh, that's still actually really good. Fire and Ice Arrows is actually not too shabby. Um, that's actually really good. That could mean that the game possibly thinks that the... That could possibly mean that the game actually placed a grappling hook on Ice Ring or Fire Mountain. I'm actually going to check that beforehand. Uh, that also unlocks some more locations for me in the... Um, in the overworld. Um, especially Windfall. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, thank you guys so much for the bits, by the way. Someone just dropped a 5k bomb. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Chat is going crazy. 16,670 bits. Thank you so much. Holy poggers. Thank you so much for your bits, guys. Also, because the swift sail sets the wind for me, I made sure right there to set the wind straight. So instead of having to slide around there, I can just jump slash up on the chest. And then I can actually use the wind in my favor to go up here. Now, I'm supposed to do kind of a mini puzzle by sliding around here. However, by having a very good angle and then timing your roll perfectly, you can go straight through the wind and then head over to the chest. Yeah, unfortunately, it was not a very good item. Alright, I'm gonna check Fire Mountain as well, because if it actually is Fire Mountain or Ice Ring, that would give me a huge lead. I'm also going to check uh, the night the, the night side quests during Windfall as well, uh, after Fire Mountain, if it does not have the item I need. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna go downwards. Um, should really quickly check another location, actually, while I'm here. Just thought of another route I could use. Uh, there's another island that's really far out of the way called Angular Island, and it's it, it has a cave uh, And it's usually a very slow location to check because it is really far out of the way And it requires the hookshot or leaf and then it always it, either hookshot or leaf to get to the actual island here where the cave is And then to complete the cave it also always requires the mirror shield Now because I did get the mirror shield in actually because I got the mirror shield in earth and went and Forbidden Woods, I, I think. I think I got it in Forbidden... No, I got the Mirror Shield and Paw Print. So this could also possibly have the grappling hook and the logic of the game. As you can hear, uh, I'm kind of trying just to call out what, what, like, what I'm thinking as I'm playing these randomizers so you can get an idea of what kind of a routing goes into this. And as you can tell, there's actually a lot of, like, more work that goes into it than just luck. Um, obviously, there is some luck involved, even though me and Gymnast are using the exact same seed and the items are always the same right now. However, um, even though you can be slightly unlucky, with the race mode, since it shows the runner which four dungeons always have the Triforce pieces, and it, uh, that means that you don't get in a situation like we had previously on old versions where one runner would risk and go one dungeon and one runner would risk going another dungeon just to end up getting one of them winning because they happen to pick the correct place. Fortunately, that's Earth God Lyrics and that is a dungeon I don't need to go to. Um, so that is unfortunately AF in the shafts. 
Oh my god, the per- wow. 169, 69. That's so gonna get broken. <laughs> no chance. You guys are a bunch of dirty memers. Alright, um, so we're gonna go Windfall Island right now. Ooh, it could also be Needle Rock. There's a lot of locations I want to check. Uh, time ratio, uh, these locations I'm checking right now are not the greatest. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of checking a few locations that's slightly slower because they're more complicated locations to check. And I'm hoping that one of these locations I'm checking right now will actually have a good item. Because if they do, it would give me an advantage, hopefully over Gymnast. Unless he made the same decision, which obviously there is a chance for. But uh, most likely... Um, most likely not, and uh, I'm basically trying to get a lead on him. Um, so yeah, another big part about like preparing yourself for these races are not just knowing good routes, but also a big part of it will be to study the other runner and kind of learn their playstyle. For example, I do know before Gymnast likes to go for dungeons, most of the time he doesn't go straight to a dungeon, but he likes to do some obscure overworld locations, and I gamble to hope that I don't check them. So that's why I checked, for example, Angular and such right now, because that would be a location that Gymnast would check against me, because that's more commonly a location I would not check. So a lot of it kind of comes down to also trying to outplay the other runner. Um, right here, if you're lucky, you don't actually have to hit inside of the sniping hole here. Hello? There we go. You can kind of just hit the side and sometimes the fire hits through. So that will give me two item locations. It will give me the chest right there, and it will also give me Creed down here. Uh, the guy that actually runs the tower right here. And then while I'm doing all of this, I'm letting uh, Mila, uh, the, little, the thief, uh, run around Windfall. So that I don't have to spend time on that. Alright, we got power bracelets. Power bracelets most likely won't make an impact for me because I have bombs, but there is a possibility it could if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to let that be for now. So right now I'm just going to kind of wait here and wait for Mila. So I'm going to sip my coffee for a little bit. <sighs> Alright. And there comes Mila. Hello. Let me cross off what I'm doing. I got creep, transparent chest, and I'm going to get Mila now. And you can talk to her through the floor right there because you're close enough in her target range, which automatically puts you in the cutscene, uh, which makes it guaranteed not to get spotted as well as then just getting the item. Ooh, unfortunately, that's a piece of heart. Okay. So... Unfortunately, so far, the items I just got are all pretty bad. I'm really hoping that this last item right here, which would be the transparent chest, is good. Because otherwise, this might not have paid off. So I'm really hoping that this item right here is something good at the very least. Um, just gonna re-equip my items there a bit. Please be something good. That's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, because most likely I think that Gymnast as a runner would check Needle Rock, um, because it's an island far out of the way and that's not commonly an island I would like to check, I'm gonna check it, um, to hope, to hope that, to lower the odds of that if it had a good item he would not get a lead on me there. After that, I'm a little bit torn where I want to go. I think I'm just not going to try and overplay it. And I think I'm just going to head over to Tower of the Gods. I think I'm going to check this, then Fire Mountain, and just head to Tower of the Gods. Because uh, most likely that should have the Grappling Hook. I was hoping that that was not the case. Um, not If the Grappling Hook shows up in this location or in Fire Mountain, it would definitely be an advantage for me. Because that means that that was the right choice. If not, because uh, so far, any all of the items I've gotten from these locations are not necessary. That means that if Gymnast did not choose to go to either one of these locations I've done in the recent four items I've checked, uh, he would just have a huge time advantage over me. Thank you. 
Ah, they're too low. Sadly, aiming in first person on the GameCube version is not the the easiest. So, doing some of these shots are a lot more complicated and difficult than the HD version. The sensitivity is like immediately goes full speed if you do any like kind of a tap on the analog stick. The doing small motions is very difficult. Please, Picto Box. That actually unlocks more locations. Okay. Okay, this could be a huge lead for me. That just for free unlocked three really quick, quick locations on Windfall. That is going to change my route right here. I'm actually going to really hope that these uh, locations right here that gets unlocked thanks to the Picto Box is a good location. This could give me a massive lead right here. Um, hopefully, if these locations are actually good. And they're also, if I got this Picto Box, this would be a location I would normally go to because three of them are within like probably one two minutes of setup which is a very good uh time to chest ratio i'm just gonna change it to day um so that i have it set all right so by having the picto box uh by having the picto box uh if i go and talk to lenzo the guy that owns the picto box that had it stolen he will um be very happy about that i found it and that i have a picto box and um by having one I'm actually going to be allowed to... I'm actually going to be allowed to um, very, very quickly simply just um, head over to his bait, uh, to his, sorry, to his top floor. And his secret top floor actually has two chests right next to each other. I'm just gonna go and talk to him really quickly right here. And if he does that, then that means that the door on the top floor is gonna be unlocked, and I can now head over to the top floor and check the locations over there. <laughs> Thank you guys for the bits, by the way. You guys are going ham. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and thank you for the sub as well. I missed a few subs. Thank you guys. So we're gonna check this. Please be good. Oh, that's necess Oh, that's a necessary item to get. That's beautiful. Good. All right, that actually paid off then. That actually paid off then, because that means that this actually is a necessary order to do. So that is actually that actually confirms that what I did is worth it, and gymnast is required to do this. It does not give me a lead because I didn't get the grappling hook, unless this last location has it. However, what it does confirm is it does confirm that it is a required thing to do. Okay. If this last item has the, um, if this last item does have the grappling hook, this would be a massive, massive win for us. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Let's hope for the best. Oh my, okay. Okay, that just sped up, sped up my combat. That's a very, very good item to get, okay. All right, it was definitely worth it. Those are two very good items to get. I am almost go mode right now. I literally just need one more master sword. So that means I'm done checking over locations. I'm literally going straight tower of the gods. Uh, I literally just need one more master sword up. I only need one more master sword upgrade and beat and beat the and beat the dungeons. So the items I need to actually go full go mode now. Go mode basically just means rush to the end. Would be grappling hook. Uh, I would only at this point need grappling hook, um, command melody, and winds god lyrics because I do need winds god lyrics and command melody. Um, I, maybe with glitches, if I'm really lucky, I could actually have a possibility of skipping Wind Scout lyrics, but I have the very neat need Command Melody. So at the at the minimum right now, I need to find Master Sword Upgrade and Command Melody and Grappling Hook, so those three items. Uh, those are the minimum necessary ones to go full go mode right now, which means I can just rush to beat the dungeons and then have a chance to finish the scene.
Beautiful. I hope the water doesn't go down before I reach this ledge. If so, I'm probably gonna drown. Okay. Good. Hoping for Grappling Hook. Grappling Hook is the most essential one out of all of them right now, because it would allow me to beat Dragon Roost, which would give me more item locations. Because what I'm basically hoping for right now is a situation... Um, what I'm hoping for right now is basically a situation to where I can skip having to check the last item I skipped in Forbidden Woods. Uh, and I can skip all the Wind Temple, because that's a very slow dungeon to check item locations for. So I'm basically hoping that I can find the grappling hook so I can just, uh, and in, gra in Dragon Roost then, because I do have the grappling hook, I can very simply just, um, um, I could very simply just, um, rush through it. Alright. If I flick the analog stick 30 times a second there, I can uh, kind of speed my way through it with some short manual super swims. Uh, sometimes I can get enough speed to make it across there, but that time not. Just gonna do this to get an area fill, because I have to wait for the water to go up anyway, so it only saves time if you get it first, right, to skip the water cycle. And then right here, there's one more chest I want to check, so I'm gonna climb up this uh, pillar right here. I'm gonna drop a bomb, I'm gonna go towards the bomb, and then I'm going to climb up out of bounds, and then leaf out of bounds. And that's gonna allow me to go behind this kind of a huge, I guess, wall, you can say. And by going around the wall right there, it allows me to completely skip having to, um... Uh, having to... Uh, do one of the rooms puzzles. So right here, I actually want to uh, prefer to leaf over and use fire arrows. So I'm going to try and use this beautiful first strike. I'm going to try and use that glitch I said earlier called soup glitch by pressing the bottle, the bottle button and on the same frame as I, un as I pause so I can unequip it. Because then I can just leaf over and instead of having to push the blocks to get the fire across, uh, since I have fire arrows early, I can just shoot the torches. Let's see, could it be the grappling hook? Could it be the grappling hook? a small key that's unfortunate that is the one item i did not need in this entire dungeon uh, well i guess also map and compass but that i'm still gonna check everything now okay that's a bit unfortunate now also looking at the um looking at the uh the logic of the game since i'm not supposed to use glitches according to the logic uh, since the command melody is one more item that I am supposed to, according to the logic, need, uh, there's only four more locations in this uh, actual dungeon that I'm supposed to be able to check without the command melody. Um, because the only other way around it is by using tricks and glitches, etc. So that does mean that the command melody is guaranteed to not be in Tower of the Gods if it's not within the next four items right here. Really unfortunate. Got hit by a wrath. Uh, this is really unlucky. There we go. There's running around with my rupees. Nice. Well, I hope you have fun with that game. Have fun with my rupees. <laughs> One thousand. 17,369 bits. Thank you, chat.
Alright, hoping grappling hook or command melody. <sighs> Come on. Oh my god, that's the last map. Okay. I am easily gonna take and run with that. Okay. So, okay. I, I only need now the grappling hook and command melody, and I am full go mode. Those are the only two items from stopping me right now from completely rushing through the entire game. I am only missing two items uh, to actually beat the entire game now. Um, since I do for a fact know where the last three trapper species are. I also forgot to mark off that I got the boomerang. Right there I use kind of a strap that saves a little bit of time. Instead of having to follow around the statue and walking around that entire room, what you can do is you can simply just um, crawl right in front of him on the top floor, then stop crawling and mashing A during the crawling animation of standing up. And because I'm not considered to be crawling anymore, I do have, uh, it is accessible to me, the player, to actually pick up um, the statue. And because I'm still partially crouched in the animation, um, Link can actually reach him and for a fact, um, successfully actually, um, reach him, which skips that floor. Alright. Please be something good. Command Melody, vanilla, dude. That's actually vanilla. That's crazy. In the vanilla game without a randomizer, that is the location to get the Command Melody. I have not seen that in a randomizer before. That is actually incredible. I am missing one item for go mode. I need Grappling Hook, and I can literally beat the entire game now. I am missing a single, single item now. Okay, we're missing a single item now to beat the entire game. So if I find the grappling hook in this dungeon right here, that would be the absolute best situation right now. Um, that would be very, very fast. This might be a very quick seed, actually. Uh, right here, I'm gonna do kind of a trick. I try to line Link up very precisely so that my angle is at a specific spot. Now, by doing so, if I go into th into this corner right here, I can then side hop four times to get around the pillar, completely skipping to use the command melody and building a bridge in that room, uh, which saves a little bit of time, even though obviously I could uh, build the bridge at this point because I do have the command melody. Um, it's much slower, so I do plan out to. I'm gonna mark all the other stuff off entirely, God, since I'm gonna check all of them. Um, that's why the items just above me went down. Because I have to manually do it, so so I don't forget, I'm just gonna mark everything off. Alright. I also have double damage right now, because I drank Grandma Soup, so I can just three-hit him. Because I have double damage from Master Sword, and I have double damage from Grandma Soup. So... I'm pretty set up for a lot of damage. Alright, please be the grappling hook, please be the grappling hook, please be the grappling hook. It's the only item I need now. Ugh, oh, empty bottle, okay. I have three empty bottles now, so I'm gonna cross off two. Alright. Come on, game. I only need the... I only need the empty bottle now. Could you be a very, very kind, sir, and give me the... The grappling hook, that would be absolutely amazing. That does mean for a fact, though, that I actually, the gamble of going Forbidden Woods early did pay off because my current situation, what that means is because my current situation, I'm standing at a, at a place to where um, the grappling hook is required to check the item that I skipped in Forbidden Woods, and since it is the last item I would need, um... I'm actually safe. Oh, wait. Ooh, 
will actually hold up. I also need the iron boots. I completely forgot. Because Wind Temple isn't required, one of the rooms in Wind Temple, no matter what glitches I use, do require uh, iron boots. Ah, oh, okay, so we're missing two items, iron boots and grappling hook. I actually completely forgot about that. Uh, with glitches, I can go to the bottom floor without my car, which means I can completely skip the Wind Temple, like, Wind God lyrics. However, I just realized that one skip is not possible, so I am actually... Uh, locked out of one possible situation there. I am a bit surprised though that the tracker doesn't count that. I guess it doesn't know which dungeons I need. Cabana Deed. Okay, Cabana Deed does have two very quick locations. However, you cannot check them without the grappling hook. So, it's good to keep in mind. Grappling with iron boots? Ugh, dungeon map. Do I have the compass? I do. Okay. So that guarantees the next... The, there's a total of... There's a total of two more item locations in this dungeon that is not the tri... Uh, that is not the Triforce key. So that means that I do have a chance for two more items to be good in this dungeon. Oh, I missed that. Okay. <laughs> the aim is not on point in this one. That was a good dodge. Grappling with the iron boots. No to mom. Okay, we're gonna mail that too. That's a very quick item. Alright, could be something good. We're gonna take it. Alright, in theoretical terms, there is one single scenario that I'm screwed in. And that would be if the iron boots is actually placed in the one location of Forbidden Woods I can't check. That could actually be in theoretical terms part of the logic. However, I very much do hope that, that is not the case, because that would be uh, quite the unfortunate situation to be in right now. Alright, man, my eye is kind of irritating me a bit. Have something in it. You will notice right there that I... <laughs> nice game. You will notice right there I did something special right there. I actually um, took the time to leaf over the platform. And you'll also notice if you play this game a lot that the wish robe doesn't spawn. The flag for spawning the wish robe is if you enter the area where you have to walk, where you get that statue. So by flying over it, uh, the wish robe will never spawn, which is very convenient for me because he can be quite annoying at times. hope this game is nice. Alright, so I need two more items. Two more items. Come on, game, please. So, one more chest in this dungeon could possibly have the uh, grappling hook or and, or and or iron boots. I'm hoping it would have grappling hook. If it doesn't, then I am kind of in a situation to where I could risk going wind temple, but the chests are slower to check. But I can do a good amount of it now because I have command melody. And or B, I could, um... I could go for overworld locations to look for it. Iron Boots! Okay. 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 Whew. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's a, that's a relief. Okay. 
So that means I did not screw myself over. Okay, so now I officially need one more item. Now, the only thing about that situation right now I'm in is... Because I got both Iron Boots and Command Melody, there is a chance the game is trying to tell me to go Wind Temple, and then Location in Wind Temple would have the Grappling Hook. Because Grappling Hook is not required in any section in Wind Temple. The, the only thing I don't like about that, though, is that Wind Temple is, like I said, a pretty slow... look Like, it's a pretty slow place to check for locations, so... I'm kind of torn on what I would like to do right now. The game is not putting me at easy spot. This is kind of a difficult situation. Um... And if Shad knows where the grappling hook is, then probably everyone in the chat right now is screaming. And that's kind of the fun scenarios with the, with the race as well when it comes to randomizers. Because obviously as a viewer perspective, you will know both me and Jimin's perspective. So you will know uh, when I'm talking about what's going through my mind right now and what kind of a thought process I have. Uh, what like I should be doing or what I shouldn't. Because I probably have some items that Jim doesn't and Jim probably has some items that I don't. So it's kind of overall, it's kind of a fun situation. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, please give me an arrow drop game. Arrows? Ah, he respawned. Sadly, sometimes you can get unlucky in the game. Give me arrows. Good. Alright, so this should guarantee to give me a Triforce piece. So that means that I am basically set right now. So, um, okay, so I'm really trying to think right now what I could possibly want to do. Ooh, okay, this is a very difficult situation this game is putting me in now. So there is a total of three overall locations that uh, I haven't checked. I haven't checked Bombile, Fire Mountain, and also Exotic Flower. So all of those locate well, okay, all of those locations are not very quick. But I would like to sort out to guarantee the fact that I do not have to... I do not, like, I do not have to do Wind Temple. So even though those are slow, the possibility of not having to do Wind Temple would be very advantageous for me. So I do believe that I think I'm going to route this in a situation to where I could possibly... Uh, have to, I could possibly skip having to do Wind Temple, so I'm going to go Greatest Island right here. And I'm going to... I'm gonna go and trade with this guy right here because he will give me a item so like i said i don't have to do the entire trading however there is one item you get if you trade with him twice um so i'm just gonna quickly trade with him twice here sea flower okay then we're gonna trade one more time okay The exotic flower. And then we're gonna go, and now we're gonna get two items of windfall, because I'm gonna mail a letter to mom, and then I'm going to... I'm gonna mail a letter to mom, and then I'm going to... And then I'm going to check what the reward is for the flowers, and I'm really hoping that one of those two situations will be the... the grappling hook, because it would be very, very, very convenient for me. I hope it's one of these two items that have the grappling hook. Oh, that's 
unfortunate heart container. Alright, let's hope this lighter has it. game please game please game please game the locks picked wait that actually unlocked something though can i do that straight away because i'm here anyways okay that does unlock one more items on windfall if this is the grappling hook that would be absolutely amazing because now i have the lux picto box which means i can take good pictures and right here if you take a picture of this girl right here in color and you show it to her um she will in fact give you an item so i'm very lucky this could be it please oh an empty bottle oh man this is very unfortunate okay so okay so this probably means, because of the amount of locations I've had to check, that it really just comes down to who did this the fastest, because I did a gamble. So if Junus went... If Junus went Tower of the Gods first, that does mean for a fact that... It really is anyone's game now. It, the, the seed is really anyone's game, because um, I basically will have to check every location right now, so... Uh, it really just comes down to who did the, f the fastest route, and I kind of did kind of a, a gamble earlier on in the run with a slightly slower alternative to hope that I found the item I needed. So I think I'm probably put in a small disadvantage right now. Uh, but let's see. If this has it, then this will be very, very good. I just, I just wanted to double check that I, I didn't have it in the inventory and it was just a little bit of a dummy. Alright, so if it's not here, there's only one more overall location I could possibly check and it's very slow. But I just want to make sure that in any situation I could skip Wind Temple. Because uh, it would just it would overall just be a very, very fast situation for me. So if this doesn't have the grappling hook, I have one more overall location to check. But it would sadly be very slow. And if that is not the case, then it is really as down to windfall. Or, or sorry, it's really as down to wind tumble. And then it really just depends on where wind tumble would be. Okay. Please be here. Please be here, game. Please be here, game. Please be grappling hook. Please be grappling hook. Please be grappling hook. Oh, skull hammer. Oh. All right. This is a location I hate to check. This last location right here because it's really slow. It's one of those locations where I normally just go, don't go for it. But I just really just hope that I can skip Wind Temple. So I'm gonna go for it. Because this is the last location in the overall that I have not checked. And if it is not this location, then it is in Wind Temple. And unless Jimnus went for every overall location, he will probably have an advantage over me right now. Um... Well, let's hope for the best. checker the timer is on 119 let's check how long it takes to do this place
119 when I got to the island. Let's check. So it takes like two minutes to check this location, give or take. Please be here, please be here. Please be here. Oh, Maggie's letter. Oh my dog. All right, that op opens one wind. Okay, I'm gonna go windfall. I will check Maggie's letter. And if it's not bad, then uh, it is in Wind Temple. Um, I'm, 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 I'm so into like this side quest right here that I might as well, but. Yeah, this if basically if gymnast if gymnast did not go to Bombile and he didn't get Maggie's letter and didn't try Maggie's letter, then he just automatically probably saved five minutes. So this either could pay off big time or it could be a very bad situation. So I guess we'll see what happens. Let's see. Can we be lucky? Yeah. Uh, has Gymnast finished yet? Uh, he has not. Okay. Please be the grappling hook, 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 please be the grappling hook. Wind God lyrics. Okay, there is only one possible situation where this is advantageous, and that is if. Okay, so basically that could mean that the game that, that this basically means that the game could possibly have put the grappling hook in Wind Temple in one of the locations that require Wind, God, Wind, Wind God's lyrics. Um, however, knowing Gymnast and knowing me, we both know how to do skips. For example, the the boss key the, the boss key chest in the dungeon normally requires you to normally requires you to actually know how like normally requires you to know uh the wind gatherings however obviously me and gymnast we both know how to do like skips and glitches to get past that so this could mean that the game's location actually put it at a really bad spot which would be the mini boss key however knowing both me and gymnast we both would probably end up just all together just completely um skipping that so actually wait where did I get the skull hammer? The skull hammer is actually required to enter this dungeon here in theory without glitches. Hmm. I got the skull hammer pretty Oh, I got it in Fire Mountain. Okay. That's actually not too bad, I just realized. Alright, well, best case scenario, I find the grappling hook really early in this dungeon. Um So that I can. So that I can skip Wind Temple.
hope something was good. Oh, grappling hook. That's unfortunate. This could end up being a very bad situation in Wind Temple. Alright, um... Okay, please... Uh, I'm trying to think right now what the best situation for me would be. The best situation would be that I would be allowed to have chest storage, which is a lot of, like, different spots would allow me to do that, so... I hope he's still- I, I hope I waited long enough for him to shoot me now instead of my car. Ah! Okay, good. Whew. Almost got hit there. That would have almost been really bad. Alright. re-enter to respawn my car here. Please have the grappling hook. Oh, small key. Come on, game, please. Come on, game. Oops. Oh, I just need one more item. Come on. I just need one more item. Please have the, please have the, please, 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 please have the grappling hook game. Please have the grappling hook game. Please have the grappling hook game. Yes! Okay, so without, without glitches, basically you were required to do that entire thing with the mail. That's why I went here straight away, because I was hoping that's what the logic intended me to do. Alright, so I could have gotten that location with a glitch early. You can do that pretty easily. Um, Okay. Ooh, what would the best situation for me to skip this dungeon be now? Okay, I'm gonna make up a I'm gonna make up a speedrun route on the spot here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leaf up here. And I'm going to get magic and get magic. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna open up the floor and then I'm going to equip bombs. And then what I would do is I would uh oh my uh, my speedrun.com is disconnected. I uh, hope I'm not having stream issues. No, the bits are still going up. Nah, I think everything is fine. Gonna get chest storage here. 
So I'm gonna store opening that chest right there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very slowly just walk into the wall right here, and that allows you to clip through. And then I can just leave backwards, get back into bounds. Uh, where's the Windmaker race? I need to click on the IRC thing again. There is a tiny possibility of getting crushed here. That's so unlucky, and it's so rare to happen, you don't even understand. Okay, I have- there is a backup, but this is so slow. I used- No, wait, I'm gonna go around. I can think of another way. Okay, that's so unlucky. So when you gra when you hookshot those objects right there, there's a tiny chance that you land in a spot to where the game is going to basically, I guess you can kind of say crush you uh, because you fall into the nose. It's incredibly rare to happen. The fact that it just happened in a race like that is very unlucky. Oh, there's and there's only one of those objects after all the hook shots, so the fact that that just happened is very, very unlucky right there. I I think it's faster to do this than killing all the enemies. Okay. That's um and that's incredibly unlucky right there. That's very unfortunate. That probably has lost me two or three minutes right there. The reasoning I really want chest storage to be active, by the way, Shad, if you are wondering, is because it would allow me to do a boss key skip. Alright, if I get crushed again, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Alright, I haven't done this strategy to get past this room without magic in a very long time. If I fall down here, I'm going to basically be screwed, so I hope I remember how to do this. It's been a very long time since I speed ran this game, so I hope I remember how to do this. I think it's just a slash here. Oh god. work. Oh, thank god. Whew, okay, I still remember. I used to speed on the original version of this game like a long, long time ago. And then I learned how to do these strats. If you fall down there, you basically can't, you can't climb ledges in this mode, which means that I would have to like save warp and go all the way back from the start of the dungeon. behind the door gonna get some magic and then thanks to having this weird collision i can kind of just walk and clip inside of this side hop out of bounds and leaf into the loading zone okay nervous. Ah, oh, this is really unlucky. The game is favoring targeting the other one. Okay, there we go. Thank you guys for the bits, by the way. We are up to 18,000 bits. That's, that's incredible. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that.
So in the original version, you can actually hookshot him while he's flying in midair. Um, they changed it in the HD version, so it just saves a little bit of time to try and hookshot him while he's in midair. Oh, that's unfortunate. Time that's slightly late. Uh, the timing is pretty precise, but it's definitely doable. So, um, now we just have to go rush through Dragon Roost and then we can head to Endgame. So for the best. Alright. So I'm now going to go Dragon Roost because there's no other items I need. So I'm going to go Dragon Roost and then um, I'm just going to basically rush to the end. Because I already have the boss key for that dungeon to beat go uh, Goma and then head down to Hyrule. So that's all I need to do right now. Good. And thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. We're up to 10 subs this stream. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, so the small key that we were missing this entire time is in the boss key chest right here. So this is the, the one reasoning why this dungeon kept screwing us over, unfortunately. Right here. Now, if I would have known, I could have done another glitch to get around the small key uh, with something known as a chest storage in this dungeon. However, obviously I could not know that, so I didn't frantically do that. Would have obviously now known the outcome in a smart play, but unfortunately, um, that is not what we did. Basically, if you get chest storage, you can climb up on one of the walls and skip having to use one of the small keys. And since I found one of them, it would have eliminated this. So the time save of doing that, since I need the grappling to defeat Go Goma, would have been that I would have had the war pot, so I could just go straight to it. So it basically, would have, the time save of that would have been that I could have skipped this entire um, chest right here. Dude! <laughs> Thank you for the 20,000 bits, Chad. Holy poggers. Thank you so much. Holy. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Holy. That's that's a lot of bits. Thank you so much. Uh. 
Oof. I was close to getting hit by the fire. That almost ended up being a very bad situation. enemies over here now. Oh, you can't... Oh. Why, why is that one ladder different? Okay, I guess you don't normally have the hookshot here, but I assume you could just grapple that, or hookshot that. That would have saved a little bit of time. That's interesting. Good to know for the future, though. Alright, so we're gonna pick up the water, and now I do already have the boss key, as you can see in my inventory right there. So I can quickly just immediately head over and defeat the boss right now, and completely skip having to do anything else in this uh, dungeon. That bomb was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Did not mean to press that. Alright, good. I'm gonna leap across here. In the boss door and we are now officially um we're officially at our last item because this will be the last trap or space which means that we officially only have um basically hyrule left so to complete so we only have hyrule left to complete now Beautiful. Time to defeat Goma, and then uh, we can get out of here and head down to Hyrule. All right, beautiful. All right, uh, there's a lot, not much to explain, by the way, right here. It's pretty straightforward. We just kind of grapple the tail three times, get the platform to hit Goma's head, and then um, basically just defeat him to get the Traveler's Beast. There's not much to explain right here. Uh, basically, it's normal stuff. The only difference remember that normal fight would be that I can one cycle him because my master deals double damage. Uh, and the average player would two cycle this boss, so. Uh, that is the only really difference uh, in between what I ended up doing right there. Alright. We get the Triforce piece and we can now head down to Hyrule. Alright, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you guys, by the way, for the 20,569 bits. I appreciate that. I don't know how long that's been standing for, actually. <laughs> Did the anonymous trolls get up? Did we finally defeat them, chat? Alright. Oh, 
All right, chat. Hyrule left. All right, gymnast has not finished yet, so uh, I don't know who's in the lead right now. But either way, um, this is definitely like com like definitely gonna be a, a close race. Like even if gymnast is in Hyrule, the fact that we will both be in Hyrule at the same time, like this definitely will, this is definitely a close race. Nonetheless, it will definitely close. We'll probably finish within a few minutes of each other. Um, I'm assuming so definitely uh, looks like a really cool race to watch so far uh, I don't know where Jim is of course, uh, but I just I knew I know for a fact because of speedruns live that he has not finished so uh, The fact that we're both probably in high level, high level I'm guessing because I well I guess the only he could in theory theoretical terms not be in high roll if the situation is that he ended up checking all of the chests in Dragon Roost and Wind Temple and then went overworld and he didn't think about using the trick to go to the boss key chest early. However, knowing gymnast, I will feel like he wouldn't, which means that I'm guessing me doing all, all the overworld locations did end up losing me time. Uh but I I do not know that for a fact, so we'll see what happens. I guess I'm sure Shad will update me later. Yeah! <laughs> this, uh, someone has dropped 5,000 bits. Thank you so much. Dude. <laughs> Thank you so much for 5,000 bits. That's super generous of you. Thank you so much. It's always when you get to end game like this and you know that the other run hasn't finished yet when you get a little bit nervous because you have no idea how you're doing like if you're ahead or if you're behind this is always the most this is the part where you get really nervous as a runner or at least i do i always get really nervous heading down to hyrule and i know that the other person hasn't finished yet because then i'm like oh is he a puppet ganon is he climbing ganon's tower or is he like am i ahead like or am i just gonna fall down and void out right now I, I don't know, like, it's always like a monk ass part. That's really strange. I swear I was on the target. The hitbox for those is a little bit glitched. It's actually inside of the wall for some reason, partially. Uh, that's quite strange. Uh, I think that's probably my first mistake I've done. Because the other mistake we did was getting crushed in Wind Fumble, which wasn't really our fault. Just bad luck. Thank you for 2,000 bits as well. So many just dropped 2k. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Alright. Alright. Let's hope I can have a good pop again right here. Also, I don't have to do Phantom Ganon's Mace because I already have Light Arrows. The only situation you would do Phantom Ganon's Mace is if that's the only location left and you don't have Light Arrows. Because it is the only item that you would like that you would wouldn't need going in here that is necessary to beat the game with. Cool. Uh, when he does the circle, like when he, when you get the circle, when there is a like five different uh, Phantom Ganons around you, it's always the one behind you that is the real one. How much magic do I have? Okay. Gymnast is not finished yet. Oh boy, this is a scary race right now. This is dangerously close. I think no matter who finishes, we can now finish with it. Like, uh, even if he finishes now, it wouldn't even be a five minute difference. This is crazy. I really don't know where Gymnast is right now. Oh boy. Do I wish I was right now. Oh. Let's hope I can get a good pup again right here. Just 
one hit. That's two. And that's three. Good. Whew. Okay. You can use the boomerang, which is what you're intended to, to cut down his cords, but that is a very slow method of doing it, so I prefer not to. As a runner, you prefer to try and shoot him down. Whew. All right. Just gonna drink the soup normally. You can hit him when he's going up there. If you're lucky. Aw, oh, Gymnast just finished. Oh, wow. This was a really close race. Okay. Fortune, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull off a win here, but this is still a very, very good race. Wow. He's actually, he actually finished during Puppet Cannon. Like, that, like, then, like, the small stuff really, really ended up, like, deciding what ended up happening. Like, for example, like, the, the Crushing Wind Temple, which was, like, a two, three minute thing. Uh, like, that was enough to make, like, a difference. So, that's actually crazy. Um, how tight this race ended up being. And I think it's a great showcase, nonetheless, so, um, how fun of a race it could be to have a race in between us two runners at a GDQ. Alright, oh, let me try and finish this up right here. Oh, close race, dude. Close race. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what time we can end up finishing up at. I'm going to... Oh, you can... Oh, wow. In SD version, you can't actually pause during this rope. Okay, I'm going to equip the Deku Leaf, and I'm going to equip the Grappling Hook right here. And... Hook Shot, Deku Leaf, Grappling Hook. Looks good on equipment. Gonna grapple this. Gonna climb up. And then we're going to... I was hoping you can skip some you can sometimes get a lead scrub right there so you can skip having to do this section right here uh, if you get a very precise hook shot all right Drink some grandma soup to speed up the fight right here. Beautiful, one cycle. We're gonna talk to Zelda. Zelda! Zelda! Oh my <laughs> that was so close. Okay. And GG. Dodd done. There it is. 155.14. Very, very good race. Me and Gymnast only ended up finishing off at about three and a half minutes apart from each other. That is a very, 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 very close race nonetheless. Wow. Alright, well...
A either way, so this is going to be my submission video for Summer Games Done Quick. Um, this is going to be my submission video for Summer Games Done Quick 2019. I uh, hope you will consider when we make a randomizer. It's a great, great round. We're going to put the time estimate at two and a half hours and hopefully the showcase kind of what the race rule sets and implementation of the randomizer for Windbaker has been made uh, to make it more marathon safe as well as of obviously cutting out some of the majority uh, luck elements so that it could actually be a lot still down to routing instead of just, you know, gambling which dungeons, for example, you want to go to, etc. So... Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're just watching this video, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it off here. But, yeah, so, uh, hope to see, uh, Winnebaker Randomizers keep getting updated and keep getting pushed further. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll consider the run, and bye-bye.